South Mississippi man racked up more than 2,000 miles, five months selling at sea by himself. Noah Noble caught up with him on his boat, the bad captain. There's two sides to the story. There's a side that's glamorous and, and everybody falls for, you know, on the YouTube channels and thinks they can go do this themselves. And then there's the reality of it. I first met Paul Tunerman in 2022 when he took his nephew on a trip of a lifetime, a 5,000 mile sailing voyage to the Caribbean on his boat, the Bad Captain. It's aptly named because Tunerman really didn't know how to sail. But with that trip behind him, he was ready to do it again, this time by himself. It took me about six months to kind of say, okay, I'm gonna do this. And then it took me uh, almost two years to get ready for it. Physically, mentally, you know, because it's a, it's a totally different voyage uh, with totally different tactics and strategies when it's one versus two, three, four other people sure. on a boat. On January 29th in 40 degree weather, he set sail from Gulfport en route to Key West. And while there was a little hiccup with running aground. I go forward and I'm like, I'm not moving. <laughs> the bad captain eventually made it to Key West, but the trek to the Bahamas wouldn't be smooth sailing. Every three days, you would get a storm that mm. came through. So the wind is going this way, the currents are going this way, and the waves start to stack up eight, 10 feet, mm. and they get really sh close together. It's not comfortable and it's, it's not safe to try and navigate the Gulf Stream at that, sure. in those conditions. Eventually, he got there, hitting more than a dozen islands, patches of sand, and cuts on and off the Bohemian Bank. But sailing the open ocean hundreds of miles from shore by yourself is a daunting task. I can't tell you how many times I'd sit there and say to myself, like, what am I doing? You know, I'm like hundreds of miles from anything. It's, you know, blowing 30 knots and why am I doing this? And it wasn't always pretty and it wasn't always fun. But then there were other moments that were fantastic. I mean, I met loads of great people. After five months and more than 2,000 nautical miles, he sailed back into Gulfport Harbor on May 26th with his wife waiting for him at the slip. Now, with this test of fortitude behind him, he has advice for anyone with a yearning for adventure. If there's anything that you want to do in life, these big, hairy, audacious goals, go do them, you know, because there's no guarantee of a tomorrow. I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now. Wow, a very brave man there. And as for what's next for Tunerman, he is selling the bad captain and plans to actually buy something a little more spacious so him and his wife can take an adventure next. And speaking